Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jewel Suds and Soaps. Uh, what I want to do today, I'm going to be using this mold and my fondant mat. It's a fence, picket fence. So I'm going to be using that and I'm just going to add some colors like uh, gold, yellow. I have this pink here and I have green. Just to kind of mimic some flowers and then I'll have white. The white will stay white. Okay, so I'm making sure this is in right side up. So that's about the way it goes. Okay, the colors I'm going to be using, this is a, a neon pink. I'm a little concerned because no matter how much I put rubbing alcohol with this particular brand, this neon, I, I get some mica spots. So I'm hoping and praying I mixed it extra good, put extra of, uh, alcohol in it as well. The alcohol will uh, disintegrate. What it does is it just helps the uh, micas to incorporate into the soap. Okay. Again, this pretty green. And then this really pretty gold yellow. And here's this pink. It's a neon pink. Okay, what I'm going to be using, I have right here 12 ounces of the uh, olive oil suspended base. And then I have 12 ounces here of the uh, goat's milk suspended base. So I'm going to melt these down 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, I'm going to take them out, stir it. If I can manually stir out the uh, clumps, I want to do that. If not, I'm going to put it back in. Okay, this will be ready in about 8 minutes. See you then. Okay, we are back. This did take me about 8 minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing my colors. I hope everyone's having a good day out there. I'm going to add the pink. I'm very nervous about this pink. Let's see. I'm hoping that it all incorporates. Beautiful, beautiful pink. Vibrant, beautiful pink. I love it. Okay. Here's that golden yellow. finally with this green. Pretty green. Okay, no fragrance today. What you need to do is um, consult your manufacturer and see what the flash point is. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready. 127, that's great. 129. 121. Very good. I'm going to check the white. The white was a little warm when I took it out. Yeah, 146. So I'm going to spray some rubbing alcohol. That will um, help the uh, soap to cool down a little bit. And it really does work. And it will dissipate. It will not linger. Let's see here. 129. That's I'll take it. That's great. Okay. Let me get my spinner. Okay. I want to make sure you guys can see. Okay. I'm going to spray my mold really good to prime it. Go in first with the white. Pretty pink. I'm 
Boy, everything's hurting up so quick. Boy. Okay, I'm going to spin it right now. Back in with this beautiful pink. Put some more of that green in here. You guys are having a good day today. Let's see. Okay, let's go back in with some more white. Back in with this pink. The higher you pour, the more penetration. Okay, go back in with this gold. Gold yellow. Okay, that is it. I'm going to let this set, guys, for about two hours, and then we'll be back. Okay, we're back for the unmolding. Let me get a knife. Okay, I'm just trimming the excess. I think it's going to be a good one. Pretty. Really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to get the glitter, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Just going to put a little bit of a glitter with rubbing alcohol on top. Piece of glitter. Okay. You know what, that's a little bit too much rubbing alcohol. That's going to be enough glitter. Okay, I'm going to cut this. Um, I'm going to let it set probably for about, I would say, 20 minutes or so for the alcohol to dry. Okay, so here it is. That's the top. Bottom. the other side okay I'm gonna cut this off camera and I'll be right back